It'll be one to go this time by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're joined by a race winner and his crew chief, the race winner, Todd Bodine, driver of the number 30, Lumber Liquidators Toyota. Crew chief, Mike Hillman, Jr., of the uh, <clears throat> winner of this Mountain Dew 250. Uh, this is... Uh, this is Todd's second victory and third top ten finish in three races at Talladega. His fourteen. You, you, yeah, you got one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you another one when we get back over to coach. Yeah, I can't color it, so I gotta get transplant. <laughs> Thanks, that was cool. In case y'all don't know, we're parked together in the motorhome lot. Don't ever play them in cornhole. <laughs> They'll kick your butt. No, no, yeah, no. no. <laughs> you have got a dirty mind. Nobody else laughed but you. That's great. We'll go right in. You've got a dirty <laughs> mind, girl. Todd, you just tell us about the race. We'll start there. How'd it go? <laughs> you were rotten. Uh, pretty good till this now. <laughs> uh, no, it was, uh, we had a good truck. You know, we, uh, we knew that the, the Fords were going to be tough. You know, that got us out horsepower so bad. And uh, you know, when I was running the third there, I was running wide open just to stay with them. But uh, I knew if we could, if we could get ourselves positioned in the right spot at the end of the race, that you know, we'd have a shot at it. Anybody's got a shot at it at that point. I mean, when we were four wide, there was 16 of us that had a shot at it. And uh, you know, when I got on the outside there, and, and I was running up with with the 99 and. Uh, Kyle jumped up in the middle, and I, I didn't want that Ford to win, so I went with the Toyota. And, uh, boy, did it work good because I could push Kyle great. Uh, we got got that good push down the back and got us in front, and I kept pushing him. And that's what happened off of four on the last lap. I, I, at that point, I I'd conceded the win. I I figure, okay, I'm just going to push Kyle to the win and finish second and get a Toyota to victory lane. And uh, and I knocked them sideways and, and went on to pass them. I uh, didn't mean to do it, but that's, that's part of a good race in here at Talladega. And, um, you know, it's a good thing he's a good driver. Saved it. But, uh, you know, we had a good truck. And, and Mike made some good adjustments that, that freed it up just a little bit and made it roll good. And, and uh, that was a, a big help when, when we had that, that good run on the outside. Mike Hillman, Jr., congratulations. How did it look atop the pit box today? <laughs> Talladega is always scary, you know. When the race starts, you're pretty much done. Um, all the guys at the shop, the engine shop, all did a heck of a job working really hard. You know, like Todd said, the Fords have us out horsepower because of the different plates that we have to run between the manufacturers. And uh, But uh, when it was all said and done, we're sitting back in here again. You know, this is three super speedway races in a row, and we don't take this thing home and just cover it up. We go home and work really hard on it, and uh, it's just, it was great. Questions now for either Todd or Mike. Raise your hand. We'll bring you the wireless mic. Any questions? Got one right here. Todd, can you talk about just winning three restrictor plate races in a row, and how do you do something like that? Well, I mean, you know, it starts at the shop. And you know, like Mike said, the, the guys, uh, you know, we, they built this truck. We went to, we came down here with it right last fall in its first race, and it won. And we took it to Daytona. And they had rebuilt the whole thing over the winter. You know, it's only had one race on it, and they completely rebuilt it, changed some things, and it won again. And after Daytona this year, they tore it back apart, completely rebuilt it, and came back here and won again. So there's a lot of hard work that goes into the race at the race shop to get us to this point. And uh, you know, I, I, I've always said this, and, and I, I mean it, because I w used to be those guys. Uh, I'm just the end result of a lot of hard work. You know, what I do on the racetrack is just complements what they do at the shop. And uh, I'm very fortunate to be a part of a team that the guys work that hard on, on a truck that's already won two races to, to not stand on their laurels to, to come back down here and, and try to be better. And here we are again. Other questions? 
Man, it's an easy crowd. No doubt. Anybody? They're just tired. Got another one right here, too. Mike, can you just talk about being able to come back and get a win and, uh, you know, just kind of what it can mean for your team? Well, you know, we got a lot of depth on our race team, um, and that, that was important at Las Vegas. That's why we had the run we did out there. Um, we fight through adversity, and our, our motto at our team is to never give up, you know. Like Todd said, he was trying to push Kyle to the win, but he ended up winning the race. And we fight through adversity and whatever's put in front of us and deal with the circumstances and what's put in front of us and try to win races, and the end result's sitting right here. Anything else for either Todd or Mike? I guess you guys answered all the questions on the racetrack. That's it. Congratulations. Enjoy the win. We'll see you later. Thank you. Bye.